All right, let's set our skills. What we got? What we got? Uh, do I even have many skills? Can I buy some skills? Open that e, e handbook. Uh, how do I buy skills? Report card. No, not me. Here, this is what we do. Okay. Uh, let's see. Clock up. Increases max speed, effectiveness during logic drives. Fine sword. Sharpness increased by five, effective during rebuttal shutdown. Huh. Okay, delusions. Take that skill. Natural liberation, what the hell is this? Focus gauge decreases a slower rate. Okay. Well, we're just gonna do that. And uh how do we set them? Set skills, alright. Alright, that's all the skills that I have. That's okay. Anyways. Let's start. Completely forgot how to do the class trials, but I'll remember. Let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And that person will earn the right to leave this island! Oh, no matter how many times I hear it, it's such a cruel rule! Now then, let's first discuss the motive! That masterpiece of gaming, Twilight Syndrome Murder Case! Go fuck yourself, Monokuma. What? Who cares about that game? The outcome of this trial should be determined by whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. Nevertheless, we shouldn't ignore it. After all, that game is the motive this time. After all, I'm a capital A asshole. Fucking. Alright, Nagito, I hate you. I hate you, but you're such a good character. Yeah, you're right. Then let's try discussing that first. I'm sure everyone who's beaten the game already knows that it's based on an actual murder case. Some of us have not beaten that game. Give us a detailed explanation. It means Twilight Syndrome Murder Case is a non-fiction game. Additionally, some of us are characters in that game too. Some of us are characters in a video game? So, I think it's better if we clarify who the characters in the game are first. The characters in the game were Girl A, Girly Girly? Wow, why did that word come out? Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, Girl D, Girl E, and Boy F. And the high school who got killed at was the beginning. Wait, what? And the high school girl who got killed at the beginning. By using the staff rule after clearing the game has a reference, I should be able to find out who it was. Oh, uh, wait, what? The first character in the game... The player was able to control his girl A. True identity is definitely me, Khan. I see. Girl A is probably me, Khan Zumiki. <laughs> that timid tone. That definitely sounds like girl A. Based on the list of names in the staff role, I can't think of anyone else who would be girl A. You know what? Let me let me just do something real quick. I I feel like the music is too loud. Let's uh wow. No, music's not that loud. What the fuck? <laughs> the music is actually the lowest thing here and the voice is all the way up, but still, I feel like the music is like overpowering the uh overpowering some of the character's voice dialogue. Trashy pig shit like you doesn't have any privacy rights. Ah, a nasty trashy pig shit. I feel like I heard that in the game too. Huh? She's right. The one who who said that was girl. It was either girl B or C. I see. Girl B was short and foul mouthed. 
She's probably Hiyoko. Short and foul mouth? That's like the complete opposite of me. Oh, keep talking your shit. Anyway, let's move on. Next is Girl C. I assume Girl C is probably Ibuki. Her personality was hyper in it. Yep, it's Ibuki. Okay, that's that's easy. I see. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl C? Then I'll see you next Tuesday. Let's move on to Girl D. Girl D. The only one person who always had a camera with them. The hero. I see. Girl D is my hero. The victim in this case. Mahiru, you gotta, you gotta say it with essence. Say it with some bass in your voice. Yeah, that's correct. Let's skip Girl E and talk about Guy F. Guy F is none other than Fuyuhiko. I see. Aren't you Guy F, Fuyuhiko? Huh. I was in a game. <laughs> that's fucking stupid. You should know you had the envelope. You fucking idiot. Uh, that reminds me. Wasn't there another person whose last name was also Kuzuryu? Another person? It was one of the names on the staff roll. The names were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyoda, Sato, Kuzuryu, and then another Kuzuryu. Hold on. Why do you keep saying there were two Kuzuryus? Because the Kuzuryu, the second one, is probably his sister. It's not like I'm wrong. That's how it's written on the staff roll. Since you beat the game, you probably know what this actually means, right? The reason Fuyuhiko's last name, Kuzuryu, appeared twice... Eh, I have a hunch about that. To call me out like that, Nagito, you're definitely someone I shouldn't mess with. The reason Fuyuhiko's last name, Kuzuryu, appears twice is because he had a little sister. I can prove it with this! In the game, Guy F. Kuzuryu mentions that he has a little sister. <clears throat> hmm? What do you mean, little sister? This is what Guy F said in the game. That oh, I was gonna read it. Clear. Damn no it! Doubt that Guy F had a little sister. Plus, the sister actually appeared in the game. That's why the name Kuzuryu appeared twice. By the way, what role did Guy F's little sister, the other Kuzuryu, play? You probably noticed, right? And the girl who died to the pervert? Now that I think about it, there was a piano in that room too. I don't really want to say it myself, but I need to move the conversation forward. The only character in the game I can... Yeah. Uh, who died at the beginning. I see! There you go. The dead high school girl who was the first victim in the game is the only person I can think of. Based on Guy F's tone in the game, it's clear that Girl E is not his little sister. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuyuhiko's sister. Why do you sound so fucking happy? That's a winning personality you've got there. Winning personality? Are you praising me? I was being sarcastic, dumbass. Hey. You said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is... Yeah, I have a little sister. Something wrong with that? It's just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some video game with reality. It's not just a game. It's definitely based on true events. That's why it's the murder. Don't go making shit up, bastard! If she was the type to die easily, I'd have fucking killed her myself a long time ago. I mean, when I first entered Hope Speak Academy, she, she was mouthing off to me as usual and sent me off. It happened just the other day. Um, about that, you're probably thinking like that because you've lost your memories. Shut the fuck up! You be quiet! I see. So you're never gonna accept that that game is based on true events, huh? Okay, I understand your attitude toward this class trial now. Nagito, you seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko a lot. Do you suspect he's the killer? Me, personally, I don't suspect he's the killer. But, nevertheless, we should show him that photo. 
A mystery that easy would make me feel sad. It wouldn't be good enough to serve as everyone's stepping stone. That's why I'd be much happier if Fuyuhiko wasn't the killer. Okay, you're starting to act weird again. Anyway, now we've established who all the characters in the game are. Girl A is Mikan. Girl B is Hiyoko. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. And the first victim in the game, that dead high school girl, is Fuyuhiko's little sister. That's just a story in a fucking game. If so, then girl E is Miss Sato. Could it be? The same Miss Sato who likes white rice? I don't know what Sato you're talking about, but I don't think she's relevant to this case. Maybe it's related to Gundam's last name, since they're both really plain names. What the heck is the wild connection? Tanaka may be an ordinary family name, but it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. And he also has a strange rivalry going on. That's cool. Hey, no one cares about that. Hurry up and talk about the mystery of the game. Huh? What do you mean, mystery of the game? My, my, you don't know. I heard that girl E got killed. What? No way! Is that true? Getting killed is so violent, don't you know? My! Such awful times we live in! Why did this happen? You guys are definitely friends. Yeah, you guys, yeah, I agree. Why could this possibly have happened? So the mystery of the game is the murder of girl E, correct? Then let's hurry up and solve it! Let's first figure out why Girl E was killed! And the reason Girl E was killed, I should be able to assume, based on the contents of the game. Well, because she was the killer. Right? I see! The reason Girl E was killed is because she killed the first victim in the game. Which means Girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. What do you think, Fuyuhiko? Apparently, Girl E was killed to avenge your little sister. You're fucking persistent. I don't care what that game said at all. But... But... It, is... It, is that true? Girl E... She, she killed the first victim? In order to make that clear, we need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. It's the murder that occurred in the music room. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. Look, I made a map of the music room's surroundings, which was the stage of the first case. I'm surprised you went to all this trouble. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. <sighs> Go fuck yourself, Cheeky. Fucking... Fucking Link. Legend of Zelda 1 mapping shit. It's not cool. I mean, it's cool as fuck, though. Classic dungeon crawler RPGs have a first person point of view, so mapping as you play is a basic. Have you guys ever played Etrian Odyssey? You map shit all the fucking time. We get it! Let's talk about that later so we can focus on the case! Then, I'll start explaining. Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, and Girl D were at the entrance hall when they heard the sound of glass breaking. Immediately, they climbed the stairs to the second floor, and headed to where they heard that sound. Girl E was in front of the music room on the second floor, and she confirmed that the sound came from in there. But the door to the music room was locked. So Girl D went to get the key from the office, and when the five of them were finally able to go inside, they found the victim's body, dead from a blow to the head. Because the music room's window was broken, the girls thought the killer escaped through there. The sound of breaking glass that they heard at the entrance hall seemed to confirm that. Plus, Girl E's school swimsuit was stolen, so they concluded that the escape killer was some pervert. How does that sound? Yep, an understandable explanation. Just as expected from the ultimate gamer who excels at clearing games. But it wasn't a pervert, right? Wasn't the real killer Girl E? 
Obviously. Girlie was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. Did she lock the music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office. Which means Girlie was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. But Girl D was the one who went to the office to get the key to the music room, right? By the way, since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. You can lock the music room from the inside, right? So from there, Girl E broke the window and escaped, and sprinted to the front of the music room as fast as she could before the others arrived. She would have passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting if she tried to do that. Then... forget this! It's not cute to see an old guy sulk. Hey! Is Girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet! Based on the details of the game, it's no mistake that Girl E, who was waiting in the hallway, is the killer. Then, what did Girl E do after the killing, after killing the girl inside the music room? I guess I need to clear that up first. Make your arguments. All right. Huh. Well, stole the swimsuit, I guess. That seems pretty apparent. Entrance hall photo, broken vase. What did Girl E do? Yeah, I'm gonna go with stole swimsuit. She just broke the window in the music room and escaped outside. So how did Girl E get from outside the school to the front of the music room? To go back to the music room from outside, you need to go through the entrance hall. Plus, at the entrance hall, the other four girls should have been there. At the entrance hall, the girls heard the sound of the window shattering. How was she able to get past those four and wait in front of the music room? She probably used a hidden passageway! Twilight's hidden passageway is the world's best! Hmm. Maybe the swimsuit is not what I'm looking for. What well, she did after the murder in the music room. After she killed the first victim in the music room. What did Girl E do? Oh wait, no, 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 no. The vase. The vase. Shit, how do I go back? Oh, wrong button. Gotta gotta do it again. Shit, why the fuck? I looked at it and then I just scrolled past it. That's stupid. Okay, there we go. How do I speed it up? There we go. need to go through the entrance hall. Plus, I think the other four girls should have been at the entrance hall. Because the sound that they heard shouldn't have been the window breaking. It should be Yep. The vase. First of all, the sound the girls heard wasn't the window breaking. If it wasn't the window, then what broke to make that sound? A vase. A vase? How low can you go? After the murder, a broken vase was discovered in the classroom next to the music room. So the sound of breaking glass that the four girls heard wasn't the music room's window. It was the sound of the vase breaking. Probably. Actually, the murder was nearly finished by the time the four girls met in the entrance hall. Girl E killed the victim in the music room, broke the window, and went to the office to get the key. With that key, she locked the music room from the hallway, returned the key to the office, and went back to wait in front of the music room. All she had to do was break the vase in the next door classroom as the four girls met by the entrance hall. To make them think the murder had just occurred and that the killer had just escaped. So, when the four of them ran over after they heard the sound, Girl E acted like she had just rushed over too. Uh, I see! Now the mystery has been solved! Wait a minute! The mystery hasn't been solved yet! You haven't determined what the murder weapon was yet! Murder weapon? Who cares about the murder weapon? We found out who the killer was! Not cool! I went to all the trouble of making this death march, so you gotta stick with it to the end! What the heck? You're so annoying! Fine, let's figure out the weapon. If this keeps up, I'm gonna feel like I need to shit. Which means I'll feel disgusting! You're the disgusting one! 
<laughs> the weapon is pretty unconventional. The answer was revealed in the game, though. Now then, will you guys be able to figure it out? An unconventional weapon that also appeared in the game. If we were told that we can advance as long as we don't make that clear, then I have to do it. I'll do it. Hmm, what do you think the weapon is? I have no idea. Was I out of line just now? Now then, there's something I need to tell you regarding the white noise and the non-stop debates. Some lines of white noise are actually very durable. You won't always destroy them in one shot. Durable white noise will chip away every time you shoot it. But unless you completely destroy them, time limit will not be replenished. By the way, if your difficulty is set to gentle, white noise won't appear at... at wait, okay, so... Huh. Alright, so just tell us more about uh, white noise. To increase the power of the silencer. Okay, yeah. There you go. Make your argument! Broken fish tank, killer, escape route, blah blah blah. Alright, let's see. Okay, let's see what everybody has to say. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her fists! An unconventional weapon apparently appeared in the game, but a weapon. In Wait a minute. All right, let me think about this. What we got? We have broken fish tank, and Twilight Syndrome murder case, tipped over fish tank, uh, gravel. Okay. Okay, gravel can do something, but they all kind of di disagree on the fish tank, so I don't really think. Twilight Central Murder Case, there's a broken window, Muse Grimm. She could have bashed her head into the window, but I don't think a window, like, huh, swimsuit. It was stolen. They said that the pervert stole the swimsuit. I guess you can strangle her to death? I mean, it's pretty thug style, when you think about it. Uh, broken vase that was in a different classroom, and this is just a picture, so I don't really. Beside the music room. Uh, it's an unconventional weapon. I'm gonna go with swimsuit. Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going? The investigation conducts universal. What if? Wait, wait, wait. What if you you smash the fish tank? F fish tank? The fish tank. You take the gravel, you put it in a, in a fucking, in a swimsuit, and you sling it around, and you beat the shit out of people. That's crazy. That's, that's, uh, let's do that. What the fuck is wrong? What is wrong with this game? I got it. The killer must have used gravel to attack the victim. My goodness. I got it right. And I was just throwing things out there. <laughs> just as I thought! I'm chosen by the gods! You're not chosen at all! And gravel is impossible! It's too small to be a weapon! What if the gravel was put inside some sort of bag? A bag? What kind of bag? If the weapon is something that appeared in the game, then so is the bag. Man, it's like, uh... I forgot the name of that movie. It's a movie where, like, some kid goes to Juvia or whatever, and he buys, like, two soda cans, and he puts it in his pillowcase, and he starts beating the shit out of people. <laughs> Fucking thug style. And the only thing I can think of is the school swimsuit. If you tie the swimsuit like a bag and stuff it full of gravel, it'd make it... Oh, I'm sorry. I skipped this dialogue. Shit. Even the ace attorney would be astonished by such a fantastic idea! But for the killer, it's an idea that kills two birds with one stone. 
to make people think the killer is some pervert. It makes sense for a school swimsuit to be stolen. And if that swimsuit was used to make an improvised weapon, it'd have to be disposed of later. How about it, Monokuma? Are you satisfied now? This happiness you feel when the mystery you create is solved! Only producers know this feeling of ecstasy! But the real important talk begins now. Girl E had someone who can be called an accomplice. That person was actually... Girl D. Girl D. You're talking about Mahiru, right? Huh? Mahiru is the accomplice? What is this? What does that mean? The piece of face that became an important clue in the music room murder. Girl D got rid of it. And, apparently the reason Girl E committed murder in the first place was to protect Girl D. Girl D was being harassed by the victim. Girl E found out and tried to stop it. And they ended up getting into an argument. And she felt a rush of anger and ended up killing her. But she should have had a clear murderous intent. I mean, she choked her out and then bludgeoned her to death. She probably made her unconscious by accident. And from there, she couldn't go back. I, I, I somewhat understand that feeling. Mikan, don't say stuff like that. It makes me sad. You can? That's pretty scary. But Girl E was also killed by someone on the fourth day. Or the game's last day. You can assume it's Guy F. I might as well ask just in case. Who do you think killed Girl E? Guy F? He's the one who's like, I'll never, I'll never forget. I see. It should have been Guy F. A scenario where Guy F murders Girl E out of a burning, hellfire desire to avenge his murdered sister. But, but Guy F is... What? It's just a story in a video game, isn't it? That's all you can say. If that game is telling the truth, it'd be a huge problem for you. Hey, clear this up for me. Those of you who appeared as characters in the game, do you remember this incident? That is... I'm terribly sorry, but... They don't remember! That's obvious! Because their school memories were, like, totally stolen! Even if I don't remember, I already know! It's obvious that guy is the killer! No one would kill a nice person like Mahiru besides a piece of shit menace to society like Fuyuhiko! Girl E and Mahiru were killed by that guy! Sure do talk a lot of shit. Well, I'm used to it by now. But does Mahiru's murder have anything to do with that game? Perhaps the two are unrelated. No, the game of Mahiru's death is probably related. In actuality, there's some important shared points. Like, uh... I don't know, the file? The file and her death? That's supposed to be proof of the game relevant. Oh wait, yeah, well they all have the Monokuma file. They need someone to okay. So if it's not the Monokuma file, it's uh it's um not the metal bat. It's uh where are we? Here. What the fuck you mean? What are you telling me right now? Okay? Huh. Well, I can take it a step further. That picture was included with the uh, ending prize. What the fuck do you mean? The ending prize proves it. It proves everything. What? Fuck. What is going on here? Okay. What do we got? Footprints. Yellow gummy shower room. Broom fish tank. Kill escape row. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the bat. I don't know. I can prove it with- Oh, the fucking bat. Okay, the bat proves it. I'm not sure the two events are unrelated. At the very least, the killer has definitely played the game. As proof, Mahiru, who was killed in the beach house, and girl E, who was killed in the game, were both killed by a blow to the head with a metal bat. There's no way we can ignore that connection. Someone must have wanted to split her head open the exact same way the Avenge the first victim. 
Hey, why don't you confess already? You're the one who killed Mahiru, right? You, you better cut that out right now! There is no way a stupid game could be the motive! You're dumb enough to believe that stupid game and that's why you killed her as revenge! If you keep making up your mind like that, we're just going to go around in circles. And... It's true for you, Hiko may look suspicious. But don't you think that'd be too obvious? What? What are you... Why? What? Do you love me? Masaka? No, fucking, yeah, that's what I was saying. It's so obvious if Fuhiko is a killer. It can't be him, possibly. I mean, Fuhiko is basically the... Sorry to talk over her. Fuhiko is basically the Byakuya of this game. That's that's how I'm putting it right now. Trap? What do you mean? The true killer played that game and most likely found out about the relationships between the characters. That person could be using that knowledge to try to set up for Fuhiko. Are you saying that a completely different killer murdered Mahiru and used the game motive as their cover? Isn't that what happened, Ryoko? Huh? Don't you understand? I'm saying you might be the true killer. And that's pretty obvious too. I don't think Hyoko's the one who did it. What is this? Like, I can only laugh. What are you even saying, you nasty toilet clogging bitch? Okay. Make our arguments. Footprints on the beach. Yeah, footprints on the beach is probably going to be the closest thing. Because it's her footprints. What are you saying, you four-eyed troll? Accusing me of killing Mahiru? <laughs> You're so mean! Why do you doubt Hyoko? Do you know where Hyoko was today? She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. But I didn't go to the beach house! Lion! You lying bitch! No, that's wrong. Why the fuck you lying? Confess! Wait a minute. You should have been at the beach house, Hyoko. Seriously, I told you I didn't! But these footprints in the sand in front of the beach house, aren't they yours? I don't have such ugly footprints! They're probably Mekons based on how ugly they are. Don't decide that based on ugliness. Huh. They're not Hyoko's footprints? That's strange. The footprint I collected from your room matches these footprints perfectly. Collected? I never gave you permission to collect that, you nasty pedo! Plus, the footprints left in the sand were facing away from the beach house. Which means... When the owner of these footprints went inside the beach house, they used a different entrance. A different entrance? Are you talking about the door facing the road that Mahiru's body was in? Are you saying when that person went inside the beach house, the body hadn't appeared yet? The door was still accessible when they went in, and wasn't when they left. Which means something happened in between those two events. Isn't that right, Hyoko? Oh! I remember now! I remember when I went to the beach house! Hmm, so you finally decided to confess. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but going for walks in the morning is my daily routine. I've never heard of that daily routine before! And that's when I went to the beach house! I went there on my morning walk! I see. If you went there during your morning walk, that doesn't have anything to do with the case at all. Wow, Kane, you must be really fucking stupid. Because we saw her, we physically saw her run away from the beach house. Don't believe her so easily, dumbass. She's obviously lying. Huh? It's a lie? People who call other people liars are usually liars themselves. If you say I'm lying, prove it. Can you even prove that I'm lying? There's no way a bunch of worthless idiots like you guys would be able to do that! Oh well, letter to Mahiru. That's a good one too. You know, besides the physical evidence that fucking me and Kazuchi saw her run away. But only during my morning walk! Oh wait, hold up, hold up. I can't. Letter. There you go. Like, you, you, the fuck, it's so obvious. You, you're stupid. Only during your morning walk, huh? Will you still claim that after you take a look at this letter? 
I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30 p.m. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Hayako Sononji, or whatever the fuck her name is. Sayonji? Ah, oh, fuck her. It's the one Mahiru had, right? I see. So Hiyoko was able to arrange a meeting with Mahiru by exchanging letters with her. What is that letter? I'm serious. I don't know. Oh, snap. I remember now. I totally saw you. Oh, now you remember, you piece of shit. Me and Hajime met up at the diner around 3 p.m. to go to the beach. I saw you about 30 minutes later, so it should have been around 3.30 p.m. I see. So if she met Mahiri at 2.30 p.m., killed her, then ran away afterward, I think 3.30 p.m. is a reasonable time for you to have witnessed Hiyo. You're wrong! You're totally wrong! you mention it, you also passed by the diner Fuyuhiko. So you should have seen Hyoko too, right? No, I didn't. It's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I wasn't even paying attention to the beach house. I went straight back to my cottage after I saw you guys. I didn't see anyone during that time. For some reason, that sounds suspicious too. It's the truth. Deal with it. Just leave him alone. It'd be a waste of time to question him any further. Anyway, that letter in Kazuichi's testimony says it all. You were meeting up with Mahiri at the beach house. Seriously? I don't know! I didn't even write that letter! I, I'm telling the truth! I really, really don't know! <laughs> is she really crying? Or is she faking it? She's probably faking it. We can assume she summoned Mahiru with the intention of killing her all along. I wouldn't assume that. Those two seem like really close friends. Uh, but someone's trying to pin it on her, like I said earlier, so... She wrote a letter to let her know where to meet, so the others wouldn't find out. And then you went ahead to the beach house, hid yourself in a specific place, and waited for Mahiru. There's evidence for that, too. Hmm, only place I can find where Hyako was hiding is probably that place, right? The closet. Oh, spot selection, that's a new one. I mean, no, it's not. We did that with the Byakuya's thing. Closet. The place where Hyoko was hiding. Are you talking about the closet? Yes, that's right. The gummy candy we found on the floor is the evidence. But that gummy candy's yellow. Hyoko, your favorite candy is gummies, correct? What's a gummy? I've never eaten something like that before. <laughs> I have captured the true character of this mystery. Hyoko, who summoned Mahiru to the beach house, hid inside the closet like a familiar. When she saw her chance, she attacked her like an evil spirit and left the beach house like a swift wind. But Hyoko miscalculated that Mahiru's body would be blocking the door at that time. Because of that, she was only able to leave from the beach side door, and ended up leaving her footprints. <laughs> we have presented the proof! My four dark devas of destruction didn't even need to come out! It's a trap! This is obviously someone's trap! Who's someone? Whose trap is it? I think... I think I know who the killer is. I think Mikan's the killer. It must be that one person. You know, the one with the mask, maybe? The one with the mask? There was a suspicious mask at the beach house, right? Whoever was wearing that could be the real killer. You're the one who wore that mask and killed Mahiru, right? There's no way I'd wear such a childish mask. Is your brain fried or something? That is right. It cannot be Hyoko. That mask belongs to Sparkling Justice! Huh? Sparkling what now? That mask says it all! Sparkling Justice is hiding on this island! Which means, the legend...
legendary serial killer Sparkling Justice is the one who killed Mahiru! Why, you? If you continue to say such foolish things, I shall tear you limb from limb. Don't blame Miss Sonia! It's just a difference between cultures. A uh, culture shock, you know? Yoko, why don't you just admit it already? You're being unreasonably stubborn! It's all in your head! Oh, why can't you understand? I'm not the killer! It's true that Yoko is suspicious, but there's something strange. Something doesn't make sense. I can't help but feel that we're being directed by someone. Gummy bag. Gummy bag. It's the gummy bag. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru! I I'm telling you, it's a trap! There's no doubt. You went to the beach house, right? Uh, oh, that is... And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy. No, yep, there we go. True, she eats gummies and shit, but I don't think yellow color mixes with the flavors of the bag. Did Hyoko really drop it? The only one childish enough to eat gummies is that midget over there. You're a midget too, you know. You're the one who worries about never getting taller. It's true Hyoko likes to eat gummies, but she only eats a specific brand. The brand of gummies you eat only have strawberry, melon, grape, and orange flavors, right? Huh? But what about the lemon flavor? The, the gummy at the crime scene is yellow, so it obviously looked like it was lemon flavored. How do you know it's lemon flavor? Could have been banana. Huh? That gummy is yellow? And it's not mine! The ones I eat don't have any yellow gummies! What? That's right! None of the gummy bags in her cottage had any yellow ones. None of the gummy bags in her cottage have yellow ones, even though there's a bunch of yellow ones on the picture that are super misleading. Then we can't assume Kyoko is the one who dropped that yellow gummy. See? Didn't I tell you? It's definitely a trap! Uh, please don't tell me it's me, Khan. Uh. Uh, damn it! Who would set a trap like this? I'll get my revenge! I'm gonna bop you on the head with all my might! Hold on, you little bitch! You think you're in the clear just because of a little gummy? Don't be stupid, I'm not done backing you into a corner yet! Oh, wow, Free Hugo, holy shit! Footprint, yellow gummy, iron base window, Mekon's autopsy report. We're not done with Hyoko yet! There's still a huge piece of evidence left! You're talking about the footprints near the beach house, right? It's true, that's an important piece of evidence. And we can thank Mahiru for it! What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and... blocked the door to the road, thanks to her. Nope, we nope. Have the evidence we need! Nope, yep, alright, Mikan's autopsy. There we go. During my morning walk! First of all, you're still lying about that. I don't know why you're lying about that, uh, Hyoko or whatever the fuck your name is. You're talking about the it's true, that's an and we can take What is that? Mahiru used her last ounce of There you go. Mahiru didn't block the door. Her death was instant. Instant death? According to my autopsy, yes. There's no doubt that Mahiru died instantly. If you keep making shit up, I'll fucking kill you! Oh, I'm sorry! Ryuhiko, you cannot do that. Only a coward threatens women. I'm pretty sure her death was instant, too. I mean, her injury was only a single blow. That's why Mahiru isn't the one who blocked the door. Someone else used her body to block it. Someone else? The killer, of course. They're the one who blocked the door with Mahiru's body. That's why there were bloody drag marks left on the floor. But why did the killer block the door? Just ask Kyoko. She's the killer, after all. S seriously? That's not true! 
Let's assume Hiyoko is the killer. Wouldn't that mean she's also the one who dragged the body? If she handled the body that bloody, I think her clothes or skin would have been stained with blood. Huh? But when I saw her, she was... She was clean. See? I told you I wasn't the killer! Yay! With this, my innocence has been proven! I won't let you look down on me! Damn, Fuyuhiko! <laughs> Shit! I haven't decided that yet! Hey, Fuyuhiko. Why do you keep insisting that Hyoko is the killer? Shut up! I'm telling you, she's the killer! That little bitch is definitely the killer! <laughs> 